It's 9 p.m. and you're listening to Radio Trista. Welcome, welcome. Don't touch that dial, listeners. You found the right place to be tonight. It's time for the start of a brand new program here on Radio Trista, coming at you promptly every Sunday. I call it Aubin Time, after the word for evening. Might be a little cliched, but sometimes simple is best, right? Cliches are cliches for a reason, after all. Anyway, my name is Misty, and I'll be your host. Hopefully I'll get to feature some famous guests at some point, so be sure you tune in every week or you might miss them. I hope life has been treating all of you well this month as we slowly near the end of April. Here in Trista, the beautiful Lino flowers have passed their peak and begun to wilt. But wilting flowers are beautiful in their own way, as they serve to remind us just how fleeting this existence truly is. I'm sure many of our listeners are students, busy with the challenges of adjusting to their new lives. But what harm is there in taking a moment to admire nature every now and again? It's good for what ails you, I say. Shall we? To be completely clear from the outset, this exam is about more than just testing your physical strength and stamina. It's designed to hone in on how capable you are of making strategic combat decisions on the fly. Defeating your opponent quickly is a good thing, certainly, but it won't be enough to score you high marks here. Huh. Interesting. So we're going to have to use our heads for this one, huh? <laughs> You'll see. Anyway, let's get this month's exam started, shall we? Reen, Elliot, Gaius, you're up first. Please step forward. Uh-oh. Got it. Here we go. A, a monster? No, I'm not sensing any life coming from it at all. That's right, think of it like a scarecrow. Only it's a moving scarecrow, I guess. Either way, it's not alive. I've set its parameters fairly high, though, so it is formidable. 
But if you give it your all, I'm con... Make good use of your Arcus's combat link abilities, for example, and I bet it'll be a piece of cake. In... <sighs> Fight they want. Right. Arcus, activate. My turn. Leave it to me. Together, we're unbeatable. We won. D don't know how, though. Combat links too. Seems like the practice you got in the old schoolhouse really paid off. Oh? Have those three been training in secret? All right. On to the second group. Laura, Emma, Eusis. I thought it would be. It does seem like combat links are the key to fighting it effectively, though. That's rather unfortunate. Instructor, may I ask a question? What exactly was that marionette we just fought? <laughs> yeah, that thing was weird. Machine, maybe? I've never seen anything else like it. Thing I got roped into working with a while back. I'd rather not use it if I don't have to, but I can't deny it serves as a valuable function. And it's rather customizable, too. I mean, it did its job quite well during our test, didn't it? So there you go. Anyway, that brings this month's practical exam to an end. But as you might recall, I told you I had a big announcement for you today, too. Are you all ready to hear what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's about a special part of Class 7's curriculum. Give up? <laughs> it's really bugging you now, isn't it? Well, I'll come clean. The special task you're about to be assigned is none other than... A field study. Field study? Oh, I don't like the sound of this one bit. 
You'll be split into two groups, A and B, and each sent to a different location. And while you're there, you'll be given a number of tasks to complete. Doesn't that sound like fun? Uh, we only just got to the Academy, and we're already being sent somewhere else? Oh, of course not! It'd be much too easy for you if I were there to bail you out every time the waters of life came seeping in. You've got to be cruel to be kind and all that. <sighs> well, I'm certainly not opposed to a challenge if it allows me to advance my training. Instructor Valestine, where exactly will we be going? And when? Ah, oh, yes, about that. As I said, you'll be split into two groups, A and B. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these to see how the groups have been divided and where each is being sent. Well, these are certainly some interesting groupings. Keldic and Parm. Are they both in Erebonia? Yeah, Keldic's a market town on the east side of the Empire. And Parm is situated in the Deep South. It's known for its spinners. All that way? How irritating. <sighs> I'm less worried about where we're going than the utter lack of sense that went into these gro- <sighs> Unbelievable. You'll be leaving this weekend, and we'll be out in the field for two days' time. Your means of reaching your respective locations will, of course, be by train. So do make sure you're thoroughly prepared, rested, and rearing to go before the big day. You did really well, Reen. Morning, Elisa. Uh, morning. You're, uh, early. We don't have to be here for another 20 minutes, you know. Oh, well, the same goes for you. Uh, what time did you wake up? Around five, I think. Though, I always try to be up by then. Oh, uh, really? Morning practice? Oh, you haven't joined any clubs, have you? So, uh, I guess not. No, it's just a force of habit. I've gotten used to waking up early. You're in the lacrosse club, right? So I'm guessing you do have to deal with morning practice sometimes. Yeah, twice a week, apparently. I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. Wh Why, Why are, are you apologizing? apologizing? <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly interesting. But no, I really am sorry. I knew it was just an unfortunate accident from the very beginning. I mean, I was on top of you. I just, I kind of lost my head. And before I knew it, I'd slapped you. And you had your hands out like you were trying to catch me, right? So if anything, I should be thanking you. Don't worry about it. That trapdoor was obviously designed so we wouldn't get hurt from the fall. If I hadn't tried to play the hero, I wouldn't have been pinned under you, and none of this would have happened. Th there's no way you could have known that, though. No matter how you look at it, I'm the one in the wrong here. So, thank you for trying to protect me. And sorry again. No, it's... <laughs> 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 Shh. 
Sorry, I have trouble with these kinds of things. My little sister is always getting on my case for being so easily flustered. Oh, you have a younger sister? Uh, that's a question for another time. I think I'm the same way. I've been trying to apologize for the past couple weeks now. But every time I set my mind to it, I always just wound up avoiding you. <laughs> really? You did try to help me out in class last week, though. Oh, yeah. That... I was hoping that would give us a chance to talk. But even then, I just avoided you afterward. Still, I really did appreciate it. So, thanks again. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, anyway, we've safely established that what happened wasn't your fault, but the result of it is another issue entirely. The... Is, what are we talking about now? Oh, come on! You have to know what I mean! This is still in regards to the accident in the old schoolhouse, right? Yes! Specifically, the part where your face ended up right in my... Uh, you know... And I forbid you from ever thinking about that, ever! Forget it ever happened. Are. We. Clear. It... Yes! Perfectly! Huh? Oh! Oh, good morning! Good morning. A lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> you two certainly got here early. Looks like you finally managed to make up, too. Uh, well... <laughs> yeah, I think we're on good terms now. Thank huh. I'm glad to hear it. It's been a bit trying watching the two of you simmer these past weeks. And I know Elisa has been desperate to apologize for her behavior this whole time. Whoa, whoa! That's only because I thought it would be awkward for two people who aren't talking to work together in the same group. Don't go getting the wrong idea or anything. Whatever you say. <laughs> well, as long as the two of you have smoothed things over, that's what's important. <laughs> now that we're all here, let's say we head out. The train's not due for a while longer, so we can swing by a few shops and stock up on supplies before heading to the station. That's a good idea, actually. The Academy's facilities are supposed to be open early today, too. Oh, that's perfect. We can make use of the Engineering Club's facilities before we head out, too. Shall we depart, then?
The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This transcontinental train is bound for Crossbell. The next stop is Keldic. Keldic. Passengers traveling to Bereahard. Please change trains at this stop. Wow, so this is Keldic. It seems like a really relaxing little town. Though there are a lot more people here than I expected. I imagine they've come for the Grand Market. Even merchants from other countries regularly come to see it. Sounds like this place is as popular with the tourists as the capital then, but for a whole different set of reasons. Keldic's also widely renowned for their local beer, which they make using rye. But you're all still miners, so I'm the only one here who gets to drink it. Are you trying to make us jealous? We don't really care, you know. Anyway, let me show you to the inn. It's, uh, right over there. Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 